Hi, I'm Jared from Railway, and today I'm here to talk to you about databases and about some of the really exciting primitives that we've recently launched that allow you to easily deploy any type of database that you want. These primitives include things like uh, deploying directly from a Docker image, persisting data with volumes, and uh, connecting to your database with a TCP proxy. So let's get right into it. We're going to be deploying a PG vector service. Uh, PG vector is a vector database built on top of Postgres um, and has historically just been very difficult to actually get deployed onto Railway. Um, but with these recent primitives that we've launched, this actually becomes very easy. Um, so we're going to be starting from a empty project and just building up everything necessary uh, to get a production ready version of PG vector that we can connect to uh, from the public. So. Let's go to our new project here. Um, and the first thing that we're going to want to do is just create a new service uh, from a Docker image. And so we can just paste in the name of the image that we want deployed. Um, and as you can see here, it's just directly from Docker Hub. So we can hit enter. Uh, we can get our new service. Um, and then we're going to want to go ahead and configure our database uh, with environment variables. So you can click variables, go to the raw editor. Um, and then just enter in all of the different configuration necessary for Postgres. Uh, in this case, it is the user, the password, database. Uh, we actually want to want to persist our data, uh, the port that we want exposed, um, and then a database URL that we can use to connect to our database from another service. Hit update variables, go back to deployments, um, and we will get a new deployment with all that different configuration. Um, but before we actually use our database, uh, one very important thing that we want is persistence. Uh, so when you actually add data to the database, um, we want all that data to be persisted between redeploys, between version upgrades, um, anything like that. Um, you know, it's very important to actually persist our database data. Uh, so for that, we can reach for railway volumes. So uh, to create a volume, you can right click on the service, attach volume, and then enter in the, uh, the mount path to the directory inside of the deployment that you actually want data to be persisted in. Uh, so what this means is that if any data is written to this directory, um, it will be persisted between deployment server service. So we can hit enter there. And in a few seconds, we'll have a new volume attached to our service. Perfect. Um, and so this is all great. We can use our database uh, over the private network uh, with no problem. All data will be be persisted, uh, but what we want to do is actually connect to it over the public. And so to do that, we need to set up a TCP proxy. So previously, uh, Railway has just supported uh, HTTP traffic um, uh, with uh, generating domains, creating custom domains, um, but now uh, you can click on TCP and actually create a TCP proxy. So uh, for Postgres, we want to expose the port 5432, hit add proxy, and then what we're given is a domain and a port. Um, and any TCP traffic sent to this domain and this port will actually be proxied to our application, uh, our service at port 5432, which is what we've configured. So that's all great. Uh, we're now ready to go ahead and test our connection. Uh, so I can copy this the host here. Uh, go to table plus, uh, pg vector. Uh, the host is the one that we're given here. The port is the, the port that we're given. Uh, the user is railway, the password is railway, and the database is also railway. So we can test the connection. Everything is green, hit connect. And there we go, we're connected to our database. Uh, so to test it out even further, let's just run some SQL commands, uh, create the extension, create a table, insert into the table, and finally uh, select some items from that table. So if we were to refresh the database, you can see we now have all the PG vector uh, functions as well as the table that we just created. So, perfect. Um, so yeah, now we've you know we've created a new service deployed directly from a Docker image. Uh, we've persisted our data uh, with a volume, and finally uh, we have connected to our database uh, through the public with a TCP proxy. So. Um, Hopefully this shows off um, all these different uh, ways that you can actually create and use databases now in Railway. Um, and once you're, you know, everything is set up correctly, uh, you can go to settings, uh, go to uh, generate template from project and actually create a template. Uh, and this will give you something similar to uh, this, uh, where it's actually a, you know, a template that you can share. It's fully configured, so you don't need to, uh, you know, when you deploy it, you don't need to reconfigure everything with variables again. Um, and this, you know, it's a reusable database, a fully configured database, production-ready database that you can use on Railway. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.